Construction work on a tunnel under Mexico City has come to a standstill. Water has put a machine out of commission. The workers are frustrated. The schedule is set back. Another 60 kilometers still have to be drilled. Orlando Husta is heading down the borehole of the S-498 drill. For the head engineer at Herrenknecht, this is almost rest and recreation because operations are still normal at this construction site. Shaft number five is 54 meters deep. It's one of three accesses to the new tunnel that Rolando Husta is responsible for. We assembled the machine down here. The tunnel ring up there already shows you how big the drill head was alone. The new sewer is seven meters in diameter. The excavated segments have already been clad with ring-shaped concrete elements. The machine basically does all of the work itself. Behind the drill head, complex machinery helps mount the concrete pieces for the tunnel wall. One after the other, the concrete elements are moved directly up to the drill head, where they are formed into rings. They're just laying down the last element. Oh, I'm wrong. There's one final piece to come. Then the next tunneling phase can begin. That'll probably take another five minutes. The segment erector is maneuvered down here and picks up the last piece. The segment director helps put the concrete blocks in place. It can be turned and swung in all directions as it carries out high precision work. The completed tunnel ring is then stabilized with bolts. Time to move on to the next meter and a half. I got three liters per minute now, 3.8, 3.7. The drivers start the new tunneling phase. The drill head rotates at just over two times a minute. The machine shoots the earth into the open like a cannon. Before drilling, the tunnel builders soften up the ground with water. The work may be proceeding again, but the goal of completing the East Tunnel by September 2012 can no longer be met. That doesn't make the engineers happy. People who hear on the news that everything has been delayed don't think, well, this or that isn't working. They say, we don't have a tunnel. The city could be flooded again. So we're under great psychological pressure. Up to now, Mexico City has tried to prevent flooding by using pumping stations that remove the water from low-lying districts. Chalco, in the south of the city, is one such area. We visited the Mendoza family here because they have had to endure several floods. This is the first time that Mother Yasmin Mendoza has heard of the major tunnel project and the first time she's seen a photo of the drill. If it's that big, then I'm sure it can help whole districts. The machine is five times taller than the people in front of it. Yasmin can hardly believe her eyes.
Heron Knecht is the global market leader in tunnel drills. It now has an office and a representative in Mexico City. His name is Hans Peter Kolas, and he's convinced that the East Tunnel Wastewater Drainage Project will increase company sales. This is not just a local event, not just a national one, but an international one. The whole world is watching how this project develops, so it's very important. Quite apart from the whole issue of directing wastewater out of Mexico City, this is a project that is attracting international attention. Heron Knecht at least can see the light at the end of the tunnel. The contract stipulates that each machine and any risks are transferred to the Mexicans after every 300 meters of tunneling. Heron Connect's negotiation partner is Mexico's government construction company, ICA, which will operate the drills. The atmosphere is tense. Who's going to take responsibility for the delays of recent months? Who is liable for any resulting damages? Every clause in the contract is crucial. We're in the midst of the project. In Germany, we assemble the machine in the workshop. You don't really learn whether all the details really function properly. And each machine is a one-off. You don't know how it's going to behave underground. At the end of the day, both sides are in agreement, and the deal is done on the first of three machines. Rolando Husta's working day is done, but there are still two more machines in the pipeline under Mexico City.